Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is my first tutorial using Maya 2011 and also uh, my first attempt at setting up a rig and joint system. So uh, please be patient and uh, nice to me. All right, first up, uh, I just want to, uh, I'll just set up a joint system. All right, I'll just get into my uh, a front view, my front view down here. Alright, and just make sure you've got your shelf tabs turned on. Alright, just over here. And just go over to animation. And it's this one here. This is your joint tools. I mean your joint tools. There we go. Click on that. Now I'm just going to do a very simple three joints. So I'm just going to go one, two, and three. All right, now I'm just going to turn my grid off, easier to see. Now, important here, uh, and please don't be, don't be lazy with this. It'll just save you so much time and save you so many problems in the future. Just give these all names all right so on this example I'm just gonna say top middle and bottom all right now look it's so important to do this um, it's just a good habit to get into and you're gonna save so much more time in the future it only takes a second please please do this all right there we go. So if I do these, oops, all right, with these joints, all right, I can just say uh, move them around if I want, like so. All right. Now, but what I want to do is to add an IK handle. Really, what this does is just join the top with the bottom. And here it is. All right, this is your IK tool, IK handle tool. Click on that. And just go to your top and then select on the bottom. All right, you'll see the uh, symbol down here, IK handle. All right. So now, let's get into my view here. If I select this, handle here all right I can now move this along like so all right now next thing I want to do I might as well just put in the skin now put in my display grid all right now I'm just going to go to polygons and just create a very simple shape all right there we go Now to get this to work, I'm going to need some subdivisions to be going along. Now I'm going to want to just go up over here to my polygon cylinders and make sure that I put in, oops, say 20. All right, depending on your character, 20 works fine here. The more you have, the smoother the uh, smoother the bend. All right, now join this to my joints. All right, what I need to do is I just need to select my cylinder, press control to select my top joint. All right, that selects everything. All right, and for some reason, oops, wrong one. All right. I've got a very cheap mouse here. All right, for some, yeah, I've got the two selected. Oops, do it again. Cylinder one, control, press the top. All right, just get my mouse actions working. And now I just want to go to skin, bind skin, and smooth bind. All right, there it is. 
Alright, so I'm going to press my IK handle and there I go. Alright. Okay, now what I want to do, that's going to be a bit difficult to select that IK handle uh, in my normal, um, in an animation. So I want to create a controller which is much easier to um, to select and uh, and to work with. All right, so I'm just going to go up to curves and hit the um, circle, and I'm just going to create a curve. Like so, just make it nice and big in this example. All right, and there it is. Now I'm just going to give that curve a name. All right, I'm going to call that I K underscore control. Okay, there I go. Now, an important thing to do over here, you can see um, I've done a few changes. I just want that to be set to zero, okay, because it'll be my starting point. So what I want to do is modify and freeze transformations. All right, now we go back over. You can see it's set to zero now. Uh, again, this is going to be my set position, so if I want to get back to the start, I just type in my zeros. Now, what I want to do is to just select, um, I want to join my joint to the control. So, I'm going to select my IK handle and then press control so I can select my control, sorry, my command key. All right, important, select the IK handle first and then your, your curve, your control. Now I can just go up to edit and we'll go down to parent. All right, there we go. Now, good. All right, I'll select zero. Sorry, I'll select my control. Now, I can just select this curve and I can just move this around any position that I want. All right, makes it a lot easier. To, uh, to work with. And of course, after I've played with it for a bit, if I want to go back to my start, I'll just go zero and zero. And there I am back at the start. Okay, so that's just a very, that's just a quick start into uh, setting up uh, some joints. I'll go into paint skinning weight in the next tutorial.